Okay, here you go, Rail Talk. You said that I wasn't, I didn't come up with anything other than physical attractiveness. As far as masculinity, no, not at all. Let me explain. Look at these men. Look at his brow ridge. Very, very prominent, very strong. His nose is very prominent, very strong, very sharp, very pointed. He basically has no brow ridge. Prominent jaw, prominent chin. His forehead line, look at that. His hairline is very square. His forehead is very straight. There is nothing in his face that is feminine. Nothing. And he's a very hairy man, as you can see. He's exuding everything that is actually masculine. Now, let's use a black man as an example. This one. Look at him. Oh, childlike, brown, girly, feminine eyes. Does he even have a brow ridge? I don't even see one, honestly. His nose is soft and round and very short and soft. His cheekbones are high, round, and very soft and feminine. His forehead line, his hairline is very round. Very round. Round forehead, of course. Um, and his chin is very round, not very prominent chin. His jaw, does he have one? Again. And where is his body hair? I can hardly see any body hair to speak of. And look at his brows and itself. Very thin and sparse. Um, you see what I mean by masculinity? Dark and black men have no masculinity. You just use another one. Soft round nose, full lips, high cheekbones, almond shaped, brown, big eyes, sparse for sparse hairline. I mean sparse brows, sorry. Um, he's got no brow ridge to speak of. Um, his hairline is completely soft and round. It's not very square. Forehead is round, definitely round. He has no jawline. <laughs> and his chin is round. Everything about him is soft, round, and feminine. Very girly. And no body hair, really, to speak of. Let's take this guy. Soft round nose. Soft round eyes. High cheekbones. Kind of roundish face altogether. Round jaw. Not really much of a chin. Full lips. You could say his forehead is not really that round to speak of, but his hairline is very round which creates another round feature this man has very feminine features if you can name a masculine feature you might be able to name one possibly when you're looking for a masculine face you're not looking for one masculine feature it's like all the things put together okay now let's look at who else? A, a light skin. You know, you know, I know you, you're light skinned. Uh, let's just look at one. You can see the transition of the situation. Now, I, I don't think his face is as masculine as the person I showed, but he has the standard of masculinity, doesn't he? Look at his chin. Very prominent chin there. Look at his jaw. Very prominent. His cheekbones, if he wasn't smiling, I don't think he would have that prominent of cheekbones, really, to be honest, but we could skip that his eyes for example eh, I skip that but it does look like he has smaller eyes his facial expression his nose look at his nose now his nose is a bit round right it's a little bit stubbier than a white person's but it's not as round and just completely non-existent like the other black men that I pointed out that were dark skin now look at his brow ridge his brow ridge is very prominent. His forehead is actually on the angular side. His hairline is actually on the angular side. He has shaven, a shaven, like his sides are shaven, so it kind of gives a look. You can see the hairline is kind of square still. See, he has a masculine face. His brows are actually prominent, you know? He has a masculine face. He has at least a minimum. 
of a masculine face, basically. You see what I'm saying? The darker you get, the more girly you look. You know, the girlier you could get, that's just what it is, you know? You look at this man, he's got full lips, he's got high cheekbones, round eyes, not really much of a brow ridge, his nose is really round and soft and short, his eyebrows are sparse, soft round forehead line, and his forehead is pretty round. Feminine features, where is his body hair? That's just how black men are. Dark-skinned black men look like a girl. Like, I can't tell them apart from girls. This is just what it is. Another guy, soft round nose. Very short nose at that. Very delicate, small, girly nose going on there. Like, if you put contour on that, that would be a pretty-ass girly no nose. Really, seriously. I've seen some black girls... Asian girls, even Hispanic girls with this nose. Very, very pretty when you put contour on that. Goodness, that is a girly, girly ass nose. <laughs> but yeah, it's not going to work on a man because why does he have a girl's nose? <laughs> you know what I mean? High cheekbones, full lips. You know, his chin is getting a little bit longer, but it's still not as prominent as the people I showed you that were light skinned and white. His jaw is trying to come out. It's still not really even there compared to the other people I showed. It's not. It's just... It's kind of just, like, not as bad as the other people, but... It's not reading to me as male. Now, his hairline could kind of be square, but his forehead is round to me, from what I can see. So, I mean, like, it's just feminine features on you guys. You guys have feminine features. Now, I understand, real talk, you aren't a dark-skinned black man. But I'm just saying, you know, when you, people say that light-skinned black men are more feminine, that's not the truth. That's not the truth at all. They're just jealous because they look like women. They have very feminine features. And a light-skinned black man looks like a man, you know? They look like what they are. <laughs> you guys look like what you are, so you shouldn't be mad when I talk about a dark-skinned black man because dark-skinned black men look like girls it's just what it is you can tell the face is different you can see on this man's face he's got the he's got the chin he's got the forehead looks you can't really see his forehead but i can kind of tell that his forehead's going to be more square but anyway his jaw is very square his nose is on the sharper end of the scale it's not soft round or flat none of those things now you can look at his brow ridge it's actually more prominent his eyes are round so you would think oh that's a feminine feature but overall his structures are pretty much masculine they are his brows are actually full you know um you can actually see that he is semi hairy you can kind of see that he does have a good amount of body hair there so i mean you can see that he it, that lighter skinned black men obviously are a bit more masculine than you know dark skinned black men that's just what it is you know it tends to be in the facial structure you can just tell like the chin the jaw the brow ridge you know things of that nature the forehead you know things like that they just tend to be a little bit more masculine than you know dark-skinned black men you know yeah i would say honestly dark-skinned black men the only quality they have that helps them out they think is being an animal but being an animal isn't really all that special because they're female animals and they're male animals so what's that you know to me like that's the only time people ever act like black men who are dark-skinned are masculine is by the idea of basically seeing them as a gorilla that's what they're trying to say there which is really insulting because i don't see any man is the gorilla and definitely not black men of any color black people are fully human and no other race of people are fully human so we should be proud of that and never try to give into the idea that we're less human or something like that you know so and that's just my perspective but i'm just trying to basically show like the facial structure of you know 
lighter skinned men tends to be where the brow ridge, you know, the forehead line, the jaw, the chin, the cheekbones, everything tends to be more straight and more elongated and more masculine and a bit more pointed and prominent. This guy, obviously, I, I always put him in the white category. I don't know if he's white or mixed, really, honestly. He's handsome, whatever. But I, I put him in the non-black category, obviously. Um, but if you look at his like chin, see, this is the exact symbol of masculinity. You said it was attractiveness. It's not attractiveness, sweetie. It's about the structure of the face. See, his chin is very prominent very elongated, very masculine, very strong. His jawline is very prominent, very square, very well aligned, basically. Then his chin, his cheekbones are very straight. His nose is very prominent, very sharp, very pointed, and just the right structure going on there. <laughs> then his brow ridge is very prominent. He has a square, broad, hairline, you know, and he also has, you know, a very square forehead. So, I mean, that's the idea of masculinity. And of course, he's hairy, again, like a lot of other men who are masculine, basically. And obviously, I love the full brows as well. So, I mean, that's what I'm talking about, masculinity. I'm talking about the structure of the face. I'm talking about things that are technical that show that this is more masculine and that is more feminine basically you know this guy like i said prominent chin prominent jawline you know not a, not too much of a cheekbone structure there prominent nose it's very sharp a longer nose you know prominent brow ridge square hairline and also a very square forehead like I'm saying, this is masculinity. This is a masculine structure. And especially, also, I like hairy men as well, you know. So, I mean, that's the idea of masculinity that I'm talking about with men of other races as opposed to black men. Now, I want to also do a video for you on um, black men and black women because... You want to say black women were so unattractive? Well, let me show you something. I'm going to show you how beautiful black women are. So, stay tuned. Anyway, I'm done doing this video, so enjoy. Have a great day, guys. Like and subscribe. Comment down below, and have a great day. Bye.